conversations but it's actually a pleasure to speak to you I did want to get to speak to Francis but it doesn't matter because I'm getting to speak to the brains the man that he walks back to the corner and speaks to when he needs that advice so a warm welcome to you and talk to us about this opportunity now going up against Anthony Joshua well thank you very much for such a warm greeting um, this opportunity is a big opportunity Deontay Wilder in the losing to Joseph Walker and created this opening for Francis to step into. So, so the universe and the gods worked out in Francis' favor. Now we have a huge task in front of us. Huge task, especially the way Joshua looked in his last fight. But we're looking forward to the competition and we look forward to the video of Joshua. Francis, his first two, two fights, fighting two of the three best heavyweights in the world in boxing. It's never been repeated. And you know what? Who knows? He could be a trailblazer for this actually happening again. Because you're right, it hasn't happened. A fight, and I will openly admit, when I saw Fury versus Nganu, yeah. I don't watch mixed martial arts. I know who Francis is. He's a big name. But I was like, Fury's going to Fury's gonna win. It's, this is going to be a shot out. And I sat there and saw that fight live. And I screamed when Francis uh, knocked down Tyson Fury. Yes. Talk to us about that moment when you saw that happen. Not that you didn't expect yes. it, but what were you thinking? Well, we did expect it. We told the people in interviews it would happen. And all I thought was yes. But we knew that he's very resilient and very durable. We knew he would get up. So I just didn't want Francis to get too excited um, and end up gassing himself out, you know, due to lack of experience. So we just act like that was the plan, which it was. We're like, hey, we do that. Stay sharp, stay cool, keep working. When he went in there, and like I said, there's this big anticipation about obviously going up against a really top heavyweight, a world champion, you know, somebody with a belt, somebody that is in the line to go for undisputed. Francis isn't a boxer, he's a mixed martial arts fighter. We saw when elbows were thrown and he wasn't even phased. The toughness, the ruggedness, talk to us a little bit about that and how that will step fast in this match that he's got against Joshua. These are exactly the tangibles that we would need because Anthony Joshua's a big, strong man as well. But the toughness, the durability, the strong mind, started with Francis as a little kid. This is not something he developed in body. This is something he had way before. He was always underestimated as a kid. He had to dig sand and, 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 and sand mines just to pay for his elementary school books and pencils just to go to school. I mean, us in the UK, us in the USA, we're not 10 years old digging sand for a living to pay for our own elementary school. So he was brought up really rough. People underestimate him his entire life. And for many people, it breaks him down. But for him, it made him bigger, stronger here. And that's what you see in the fight against Tyson Fury. His first fight, fighting against the lineal champion of the world, getting hit with elbows and illegal techniques, and that didn't even flinch because he had a strong mind. And he had one goal, and that was winning. And once Francis locks his mind into something, it's hard to deter it. Having that in front of you, we saw the post-fight conversation with Tyson Fury after, and he was bewildered. I yes. think that's the correct word yes. to use. He was like, what just happened in yes. there? He was as shocked as us, the, you know, the boxing fans were at home. Yes. When Francis says, oh, I've taken it, he's watched that back. What did he see? You know, when he saw that kind of like rabbit in the headlights, that kind of shock, startled look. He just laughed. No, he said it, I knew it. They didn't believe, but he believed. And that was it. Self belief. And that is something that is probably going to go over the skill in this because sometimes it's not just about skill in boxing, it's about the heart that you've got. 
when you compare the two, like you said, we didn't have to mine as children to get through school. He's got a completely different mindset going into this. And a lot of people have questioned the mentality, the stability, the mental strength of Anthony Joshua. How does that fare? Do you need some water? 100% right. I'll get through it. You are exactly right. People are going to help. I think a lot of people are excited about this because they don't realize that you've got to I feel like the boxing world is We've now interested in fighting. We've seen Francis Cote, MMA Francis, towards ACL. Three weeks before his last championship fight in the UFC, he fought a five-round, 25-minute UFC fight on one leg. It's, it's still one. Myself, his other coach, Eric Nixon, we all told him to pull out. Yeah, I mean, I was surprised. You can't, you can't stand. Pull out. He said no, fight. And he won it on one leg. This is facts. Chris is different. When you talk about a test of fortitude and mentality. Chris definitely has that. I'm not going to say Joshua does it. People question it. I'm not going to question that. He's an Olympic gold medalist. But I'm willing to say that I think if it comes down to people that deep this, especially psychologically, it will be Chris. You have your drink. No, it's alright. We can pause this. You have your drink because I know you're talked out. It's just. It's alright. I'm going to put that out. I know you've been. You've done 700 conversations today already. Winning a fight like this, is it fair enough? There's some people that argue that you won against Tyson Fury. You'll leave that like you said, we leave that in the past. We are here now. What will this mean in the man who was going to win to be the night? One of the most talked about fights, six obviously, and Garner went up against Fury. It would mean everything. It would mean the unconventional can happen. It would mean there's extraordinary abilities that Francis has. His first two fights, fight two out of three best boxes in the entire world, champions. His first two fights, he can sit down. This story that will be written again is this an incredible task, improbable task, but very possible for Francis. And finally, what would you say to the fans that doubt this style of boxing, that question it and say, why are we not letting boxers fight boxers? Why are we having this crossover? Leave MMA fighters to MMA and leave boxers to fight each other. What would you say to those fans? I'll tell them very simply. Keep that same energy when it came to Conor and Floyd. Everyone loved the McGregor Floyd thing. They did a tour around the world with yeah, both them, and everyone bought in. What's the difference now? You know what I mean? The difference is, I understand if it's, and, and I got respect and love for Jake Paul, but I understand if you're an influencer fighting MMA guys in a boxing forum, that's not boxing. When you get a champion in some other organization, like the highest level of mixed martial arts is UFC and PML. If you get a champion in those organizations and they're willing to fight another champion in boxing, it should happen because you got two champions fighting. It's not like you got an MMA guy fighting on his boxer. You got if, if someone's willing to step to the highest level of the sport, you should embrace it. If they're not worthy, the highest level of that sport stops them like everyone thought Tyson was gonna do, Fury was gonna do to Francis. But after the, the show Francis put on against Fury, anyone who says this should happen is, is, is insane. He proved this level. That's why Maceo Suleiman put him in the top 10. And, and he's gonna show again, once he defeats Joshua, people will say, wow, give him, he's, he's the guy. Imagine 2024 could be the most insane year in boxing history. A mixed martial arts fighter comes to boxing, fights the three, two of the three or the three best boxers in all the world, current world champions, and defeats them and becomes undisputed champion at the end of this year. If that happens, this is something that can never be written. And on that note, Mr. Cooper, I'm going to leave you to it. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. You take the time to speak to what's Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you all. Thank you. Well, thank you, sir.